Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hidden Gems. Per usual, I'm your host Mike, and today I have some exciting projects to bring to you guys. For this week, uh, we have a mix of projects from various sectors. The first one is a smart contract layer one blockchain uh, built out on Cosmos SDK, followed by a few DeFi oriented protocols, and then an NFT and metaverse play. <clears throat> so if you are a customer, you would have received this video uh, essentially in a PDF format earlier in the week. and yeah, if you're more of a reader like me, uh, you would definitely appreciate you know signing up to the Token Metrics platform and receiving this and you know reading it in more detail. But we're just gonna go ahead and go th go through uh, each of these projects you know on a high level for you guys and you know try to showcase the potential for each of them. So the first project on the list is Juno Network, and it's an up and coming Layer One blockchain that's being built out on Cosmos SDK. And what is really unique about Juno network is uh, the fact that it has already established a close relationship with uh, Tendermint or the founders of Cosmos themselves. So they're taking IBC's you know, blockchain and consensus standards and enhan enhancing the programmability on top of it by introducing uh, Rust native uh, programming language to the Cosmos universe. So for those of you who don't know, um, you know, a lot of Solana based applications are utilizing Rust because it's you know, more uh, lightweight and more efficient for, for programming. And what Juno Network is doing is, you know, bringing that uh, the efficiency of Rust to the Cosmos universe and to programmers who want to utilize the, the IBC consensus mechanism to further uh, advance their projects. So while other, you know, layer ones are already live uh, on the Cosmos universe, be it Terra Luna, Oasis Rose, uh, Cadena, or Secret Network, um, what Juno Network is doing that's pretty unique is the fact that it's offering, um, again, programmers the ability to program in Rust and uh, the ability to launch their projects onto a blockchain's mainnet without having to go through uh, pre-approval processes, uh, which are typical in other layer one blockchains. So typically, if you want to launch you know, a project within the Terra Luna ecosystem, um, you essentially have it to be approved by the main chain before actually being able to launch your project. So uh, Juno Network is unique in the sense that it offers programmers the ability to launch their projects pretty easily. And it's also one of the more decentralized um, smart contract layer one blockchains within the Cosmos universe. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, you know, Ethereum had close to a 90% um, decentralized launch and Juno Network is you know following very closely in the steps of Ethereum and trying to be a really decentralized project. More than 85% of um, Juno Network's native token, Juno, was uh, essentially given out to uh, the community via liquidity pools and airdrops. So the initial airdrop for Cosmos and Atom Stakers, um, you know, 50% of Juno's supply was allotted to them. So definitely a very grassroots uh, project from the from the get go. And you know it's trying to emulate the, the the growth of Ethereum, but try to essentially do that on the Cosmos universe. So um, another really cool thing about the Juno Network uh, project is the fact that uh, a lot of the, the team is actually in close ties with Tendermint, and they've uh, contributed to the GitHub of you know Cosmos SDK. So definitely unique in the technical capabilities as well as you know product niche as a more lightweight and programmable uh, layer one blockchain within the Cosmos universe. And again, um, uh, this project scored at 80%. We can go through it here a bit more. And the token utility, it's gonna be mainly utilized for securing the proof of stake network, governance, um, utility, as in terms of gas and collateral and smart contracts, like other, um, like other layer one assets. So yeah, that was Juno Network and it scored at 80%. So definitely check that website out and learn more about it. And the following project that scored pretty well for this week is Prison Protocol. This one scored a 79%. And what they're doing that's really cool is providing Terra Luna's ecosystem as well as Luna's uh, native token with more composability. And how they're doing this is by providing uh, holders of uh, Luna a platform to split apart their native asset into two components. So providing your Luna into Prism you could uh, essentially receive P Luna and Y Luna back, and using these two tokens, you could further strategize in DeFi protocols. So, um, you know, using your P Luna, you could provide liquidity on multiple decentralized exchanges, 
uh, for the underlying pairing P Luna and Prism to earn AMM fees and liquidity incentives. And uh, you could also use P Luna to you know borrow stable coins in a safe manner to earn you know potential APY APR that way. And you know introducing more composability with Y Luna, you could essentially uh, further strategize on more riskier bets while also receiving staking and airdrop rewards in the future. Um, so some reasons why we like Prism Protocol, uh, they recently got $100 million from Hash, Jump Crypto, and Terraform Labs. The project itself launched at a price of $0.33 cents a token. It's currently trading at a price of $0.31, cents, so a little bit under its IDO SEO price. And the team behind it uh, was created by some DeFi anonymous users, but they've c contributed to Astroport, Nexus Mutual, White Whales, and other um, Terra Luna ecosystem projects in the past as well. And Advisor, they have Do Kwan, the creator of Luna himself, um, advising this project, so definitely not short on talent. Um, token utility for Prism, like many other crypto projects, you have the ability to govern the future of the protocol. Um, some other unique token utilities, uh, you get percentage of fees that um, users are charged for splitting their native asset or refracting it, fees from transactions, and fees from um, exiting the protocol altogether. So um, where you could buy the token, it's live right now. So you could uh, check out a few uh, markets to buy it. It's maybe going to be decentralized exchanges for now. Um, but their public sale was recently done in the past week. So definitely uh, check out CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap to see which markets are most up to date to buy Prism Protocol. And the next project we have for you guys is Stator Labs. This one scored a 78%. And what they're doing uh, that's pretty unique is uh, they're aiming to become the main staking middleware for multiple proof of stake networks um, by building out liquid staking solutions for these networks. So, you know, much like you're in finance, um, Stator uh, hopes to become uh, a farm with multiple rewards, launch pads, as well as liquid staking solutions. So we can check out um, the initial screenshot we took here. Uh, you know, they're offering 9.26% for uh, staking solutions uh, on Terra, um, but currently, you know, they upped it to 10.56%. So definitely uh, more interest has, has been accumulating for this protocol and what they're doing in underlying uh, layer one ecosystems. So they're initially targeting Terra Luna like Prism, but they're going to introduce Solana, Ethereum, Cosmos, and near uh, blockchain ecosystems. So they definitely, you know, strategize on which ecosystems uh, can bring them the most uh, ecosystem effects to their projects. And yeah, Stator Labs, backed by Pantera, Coinbase Ventures, um, Ledger Prime, Jump Capital, Hyobi Ventures, and Hypersphere. And they recently raised uh, $12 million from these venture capital firms. So another reason why uh, we, we like uh, Stator Labs and what they're doing is, uh, you know, they're uh, ultimately increasing the Nakamoto coefficient for these um, networks. So you know, it's going to become more decentralized and uh, risk tolerant to um, being shut down. So the team behind this um, project is a 24 member team uh, experience. A uh, few individuals have prior experience from Terraform Labs themselves, PayPal, Microsoft, and Deutsche Bank. Token utility for Stator. So developers can stake the Stator uh, SD token to access um, underlying infrastructure and smart contract network uh, programmability, as well as um, there's going to be a governance feature, much like you know a lot of cryptocurrency projects today, and liquidity rewards um, across various pools, as well as withdrawal field fees for individuals who um, want to withdraw their uh, underlying asset from the protocol. So definitely a unique one to watch out for um, where you could buy the token. I believe they did a fair drop for people who uh, contributed assets to the project. So um, definitely more of a you know, decent, decentralized approach than other projects. But um, Stator Labs is uh, you know really unique in the sense that it's offering these liquid staking solutions, um, starting out with Terra, but hoping to integrate uh, more along the line. So again, um, this one scored a 78%. Um, definitely a project to watch out for. Um, 
And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the next one. And the next project we have for you guys is XDeFi Wallet. Um, this project is a pretty cool wallet-based um, protocol that has its own native token. So unlike you know centralized alternatives like MetaMask and other three Web 3.0 wallets, um, XDeFi Wallet actually has its own native token that uh, accrues value from the underlying usage of the wallet itself. So uh, they already have integrations on Ethereum, ThorChain, Terra, plus several other EVMs. And a uh, really unique thing about this project is its uh, backers as well as the team. So it, it currently has, um, you know, 15 plus person team and, you know, very good backers as well. We could see here um, Mechanism Capital, Delphi Digital, um, Alameda Research, Animeca Brands all invested in this project. And, you know, they see the potential for this uh, Web 3.0 wallet to, um, you know, essentially accrue more value across these ecosystems um, as they're being used. So, you know, again, uh, 15 plus person team, 19 to be exact. Uh, previous ex experience um, comes from Crypto.com, Kraken.com, Bloomberg, and Consensus. Um, the token utility of XDeFi was designed by Delphi Digital, and mm -hmm. it's a pretty strong in that sense. Um, First off, they are, they're offering staking rewards where users can receive, receive uh, rebates on fees in, in the form of RX DeFi. So that's a rebate X DeFi, as well as, you know, governance. And there's going to be a play to learn section that connects, um, you know, ecosystem learning incentives to essentially uh, onboard the next billion users to, to DeFi. Um, ecosystem building as well, they, they all allotted a certain uh, amount of their tokens to, you know, create more integrations with Web 3.0 um, projects. So definitely a cool project to look out for. And you can currently purchase RX or XD5 on uh, SushiSwap, Gate.io, as well as Uniswap and Polynex. So again, this one scored a 76.5% and definitely an interesting project that is uh, you know tokenizing Web 3.0 wallets. And the next project we have for you guys is uh, Steppen. This is a little bit more light and fun in comparison to the other projects, um, this is inspired by the play to earn craze that's been occurring in the past uh, year or so. And they're trying to leverage, uh, you know, the play to earn uh, movement to create uh, one of the first um, move to earn running apps. So similar to Geno Pets, uh, a, a project that was mentioned uh, on a watch list maybe four or five months back that did very well. Um, Stepin is, is doing a, a play to earn a healthy uh, lifestyle based um, protocol and app where um, users can essentially buy an NFT of a sneaker and get rewarded for their, their healthy lifestyles. Um, so essentially you would uh, purchase the NFT of a sneaker on their Android or iOS mobile app. And uh, after doing so, uh, you'll be rewarded in the native token GST for exercising and you know healthy daily routines. Um, the investors behind this project you know, they closed a 5 million uh, round from Sequoia Ventures, Solana Ventures, Alameda Research, Z Prime Capital, uh, Lemon Scap, and DeFi Alliance. So definitely, you know, top tier um, investors here on this project. And currently they have a total of seven employees and um, the team itself placed fourth out of 100 plus projects in Solana's Ignition Hackathon. The most notable individual experiences come from uh, Yale University and Algorand. And the token utility behind GST, um, you know, it's a move to earn token. So users are rewarded for uh, going out and running or exercising in any shape or form. And we could check out the website here uh, on, on some of the data that they've accumulated. Um, you know, 220 miles, 220 million miles has already um, been aggregated on this web or on this uh, mobile app. And they've already created a carbon offset of almost 15,000. Uh, KG. So definitely an interesting project with uh, some unique catalysts. And we can see here uh, the future growth and roadmap of the project as well. So definitely, uh, you know, check out the project, uh, project's website and uh, their white paper that's up and coming as well. So this one, uh, again, scored a 76.13%. And we really like the, the play to earn and move to earn features that they're incorporating in this app. And the next project we have for you guys is Breeder DAO. This one uh, scored a 75% and it's aiming to become the leading NFT asset creation protocol for the metaverse. So Breeder DAO has already partnered with uh, some of the biggest play to earn games out there, including Cypher, Cyball, Axie Infinity, and Kerbata 
to you know create uh, NFTs for them. So it's essentially becoming an outsource factory for these protocols to you know uh, create these NFTs and worry less about uh, devoting uh, developer talents to do so. Um, so they've already created uh, NFTs for Axie Infinity, Cypher, Cyball, and Kerbato. We could see a few of them here, and we could walk through the website as well. Um, the token for this project is, is not out yet, but they're planning to launch it this year, actually um, this quarter of this year. So definitely keep a lookout for that. And yeah, some stats, it's already supplied close to 100,000 plus NFTs to these eight plus partner games. And they've already you know expanded their, their network to 50 plus partner guilds, guilds as well. So we can see here in the roadmap, uh, their token launch is expected to happen this quarter. So you know, definitely keep a lookout, an eye out for that one. And um, some institutional partners behind this project, you know, they got, got Andrewsine Horowitz, Delphi Digital, um, Hash, and Mechanism Capital, uh, as well as Yield Guild Games. So you know, ten million dollars from these tier one investors is definitely something to take note of. And currently, the team uh, is a total of twenty one employees, which are mainly uh, come from a background of gaming in Southeast Asian companies. Uh, so, so the token utility is not out yet. So definitely keep a look an eye out for that one. And again, BreederDAO, uh, it's an up and coming uh, metaverse as well as play to earn infrastructure project. You could walk through the website, learn more about the team here and the advisors are pretty top tier. Again, they got Yield Guild Games founder as well as a founding partner of uh, Bitcraft and um, the actual, actual creator of Terra Luna himself, uh, Do Kwan. So an advisor's top tier as well as investors. So keep an eye out for this project, uh, moving into this quarter or as we wrap up this quarter, actually. Yeah. And that was, uh, the projects for this week. So make sure you guys tune in, uh, to next week's, uh, hidden gem watch list, and we'll make sure to bring some more exciting projects to you guys. Thank you.